Hey everyone. So today we're going to be using Aspen Hysis to create a simple flash drum and we can uh, get into some more complicated flash drums after. So first thing we're going to do is click on new which is going to create a new model in Hysis which will bring us to the properties tab. Properties tab is the first place we go because we need to add some components. So I'm going to click on the sidebar and get Aspen properties. So there's two ways to do this. You can either click find and then search for the thing that you're looking for. So in this case, water. And it will search its database and come up with everything that has uh, that mentioned. So add selected compound and close. Or I can just type into the search the component I'm looking for, which seems to be a little bit faster, and add it that way. So you'll notice that it says we're good to go down there. So here. Again, I'm going to add from Aspen Properties a fluid package. In this case, we're going to start out with Ideal and ignore most of this stuff over here. If uh, we're using a more advanced one, we could edit some of this or uh, figure out what the binary coefficients are for these different systems. So then I'll go over to the simulation area. So we're not going to deal with these, so I like to just minimize them. This palette thing I think is very useful but I don't like it floating around so I put it to the side and then if you click that little pin then it will auto hide and if you scroll over it it will open up. So we're going to start out with a flash drum otherwise called a separator in Aspen Hysis and we've got two streams. We've got an energy stream and a material stream. We'll just start with the material stream. So I'm going to add one here and change its name to feed the purpose of this and I'll show you another way to add streams out here. So I've got this open, I'm trying to get that so you can see the feed and I'm going to uh, select the feed stream as the inlet and you'll see that it automatically draws the arrow. Now for vapor outlet, I'm just going to type in vapor and it produces one. For liquid, I'll type in liquid, it produces a liquid outlet. Great. So <clears throat> we're not going to touch anything else on the uh, flash drum, but we are going to put the feed in and specify that stream. So double click on the feed. So we want a vapor fraction of 0.4. We want a pressure of 1 atm. So just going to click on this and scroll down to atm. And it will fill it out in the units that are over here. Molar flow of 100 kilogram mole per hour. Great. And then I'm going to go and double click on this to bring up the composition tab. I could also go down here to composition and uh, fill this out. So in this case, we have 40% water and 60% ethanol. Great. So we're going to just push OK on that, and you see it says OK down here. That means it has actually calculated a flash for the stream. So if you look here, it tells you what the vapor phase is. It also tells you what the liquid phase is and those conditions. You go over to composition, it will even tell you the composition of each one of these phases. And if you open up the vapor stream from the flash, you'll actually notice that the compositions are the same. So Aspen Hysis has actually flashed this feed stream and this vessel is just used to separate the vapor from the liquid phase. And that's really all it's doing. If we wanted to do something more advanced, so for instance, a pressure drop, we could go down to parameters and say, well, it's dropping five KPA across this. And then it instantly recalculates that. And you'll notice that the molar flow is no longer just 40% of the inlet, it's a little higher. And the composition, if I compare these two, has changed. This is now 28.65% instead of 28.63%. So a little different. The other thing that we could do is create an energy stream. So if I put an energy stream in there, connect that up, and then specify this as, let's say, 500,000 kilojoules per hour then the uh, vapor stream has increased significantly and the liquid stream has decreased significantly. So right about now we're coming in at a 40-60 mix and we're leaving at around a 50-50 mix. So 
<clears throat> that's that's partly how flash drums can be useful is if there is a pressure drop in your fl actual flash drum or if you have a heater in there or something you can uh, use this. Now if we wanted something that was more accurate so going back here we'll look again so we've got 30.83 or 69.17 and if I go back to my properties and switch this over to Wilson for a more ideal I'll just click on that and go back to my simulation so it's going to ask me if I want to keep holding on and I'm going to click no because holding is just going to stop it from calculating on the fly so I'll click no I can put it on hold whenever I want and it will just stop the solver but uh, in this stage it's it's completely fine for me to have it on so you notice it was 30 percent before and it's gone up to 32 percent so that's the uh, benefit of having a good package that will accurately calculate things. So if we want to get a little more advanced and have a flash drum that um, has a multi-component system, I'll just come over here and create another flash drum. And just come in and let's see, feed... I'll call it feed M for multi-component, vapor M for multi-component, liquid M for multi-component, and I'll go back to properties to add some more components. So let's see, I'll add propane and N butane and N pentane. Great. So all those are added. Go back to the simulation. Still don't want holding on, so we'll go back to this feed. So I'll just say 0.4 again. Temperature, I'll leave that blank, and then 101.3, and I'll leave that at 100 kilogram moles. So as far as composition goes, I'll put 0.2 for propane. I will put 0.3 for butane and 0.5 for pentane. Okay, so flashed it again. So then you can just go over here at the vapor stream and look to see what the composition is. Um, you can also go to the feed stream and see what the composition is of the vapor phase and the liquid phase. And you can see how that uh, differs from your expert uh, expectations or how well it separates based on how far apart they are. And yeah, so that's a brief tutorial on how to create flash drums in Aspen Heises.